welcome back to H4K at Home, where we bring our weekend worship to you at home. Next weekend is Easter, guys. Can you believe it? It's already here. No need to RSVP. We're here waiting for you with our doors wide open. We'll celebrate with the service Saturday night at 5.30, Sunday morning with services at 9.30 and 11.30. We can't wait to see you. Here's the announcement. Get your pen and paper. You'll want to remember this. The following weekend, April 10th and 11th, we'll have service Saturday evening at 5.30 and then Sunday morning at 9.30 and we'll move our 11.30 up to 11.15. We're going to slide 11.30 up to 11.15. Makes sense. Okay, so we'll see you guys then. Last week, the big idea was Jesus helps me when I am tempted. Remember how we talked about that? This week, the big idea is, hey, what's the big idea? Jesus understands my challenges. You remember I gave you a challenge? Tell me about your best birthday ever. I still want to hear about it, so send me a comment below. Right now, we're going to send it to the Word on the Street with Pastor Chad and find out what's the Word. Let's go, guys. Word, word, word. Bird is a word, a bird, 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 bird is a word. What's up, families? Welcome to Word on the Street. See, just to remind you guys, Word on the Street is a chance for us to kind of walk around, meet friends like you out in the open, and let them teach us what they're learning about God's Word out in the street, right? So I got my friend here, Trip. Say, what's up, Trip? Hello. Can you do any dance moves, Trip? Got that floss? I need, to, I need to work on that. See, I'm going to hurt my back if I try to do that. Listen, guys, all right, today's big idea that we're going to learn about is that Jesus understands our challenges. Now, Tripp, do you have anything challenging in your life? What's really difficult for you? Well, what's really difficult for me is to, is to like, climb the walls at that place. Like a rock wall place? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, it's hard. It's, like, very difficult to get to the top. Yeah. Because there's so many rocks to climb. Yeah. Is it scary at times? Yes. Yeah. I see. I think scary. I would get halfway up, and I'd probably get too scared and be like, "Oh, I gotta fall down." Now let me be clear. So, did you have you ever been to the top of the wall? Well, no, I haven't. But are you gonna give up? Are you gonna keep trying? Yes, I'm gonna keep trying to make it to the top. See, you never give up, no matter how challenging it is. See, that's what's cool about our big idea. See, Jesus knows and understands our challenges, and he never gives up on you or me. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah, so even if you're on a rock wall, now wait, it's a rock wall, right? You don't have like spider webs that you can shoot out of your hands and catch them up on there, can you? No. Okay, I was about to get really excited. Spider. I was like, we got Spider Man in H4K! But instead, I'm really excited. We got Trip in H4K! <laughs> All right, I'm listen. Not you're not Spider-Man, but you're just as cool. I think so. Yes. Yes, yes. All right. Listen, guys, we got one last thing that Tripp's going to share, an encouraging word for us today. What you got for us today, Tripp? Uh, what do you want to share with us to encourage us? Like, when, when I um, talk to my friends yeah. at school and, and when I do, like, like, things to me and stuff, yeah. I say, thank you and I love you. Yep. Thank you for being our friends, and I love you, right? Yeah. See, that's a message in and of itself. We can always tell our friends, I love you, and thank you. You know what? That's so good. I might talk to Pastor Rufus and see if I can get you to teach that on main stage. Would what? You I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it is a great word of encouragement for you and me today. Now we're going to pass it to Miss Kelly back so she can give us a big idea. See you guys later. Give me a high five. Air high five. Whoop. Welcome to this week's Big Idea. I'm Miss Kelly, and we are in week four of our series called Challenge Accepted. Now, last week, we talked about our big idea that Jesus helps me when I'm tempted. Today, we're going to learn about a whole new big idea. Now, I've got a serious question for you guys. Have you ever been through something that's really tough and really hard to deal with? You don't like to remember it, and you don't like to talk about it? Well, that's called a challenge. A challenge is something that puts us out of our comfort zone and makes us feel all of our feelings, whether they're good or bad. But guess what? There is somebody out there who understands our challenges, and that is Jesus. Jesus himself had so many challenges, and he even knew there would be more challenges to come. He even told his disciples about it. Well, these challenges that Jesus had caused him to give up a lot of things that he didn't really want to give up, but he did. 
Can you imagine having to give up your friends and your family and even giving up having to live here on earth? That's some huge challenges right there, boys and girls. But Jesus, even though he was God's son, was also human while he was here on earth. He's gone through all the same emotions and all the same feelings that we did, so he understands our feelings and he understands our challenges. Boys and girls, if you've ever feeling if you're ever feeling challenged or sad or down, just remember that there is someone that you can always call out to. With your phone? No, not your phone. Just say a little prayer to Jesus and he will be right there with you. Guys, I've had so much fun with you today. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, man, today is a super stressful day. It's exciting, but it's stressful. Listen, I'm trying not to be a basketball official and I've, had to, I've got to take two tests. The first one was a physical test. And of course, if you saw me last week doing my home exercises, you know I killed that, that wasn't a problem. But I've got to take a sports history test. And I'm not so sure, because these, these questions are tough. So I'm gonna practice for a second, so y'all just kind of hang there for me, okay? All right, so the first one is, what does NBA stand for? A, National Basketball Association, or B, new basketballs are awesome. Okay, so if I'm guessing right, a basketball association is not that, it's a, they're basketball teams. So I'm gonna go with new basketballs are awesome because, you know, new basketballs are awesome. National Basketball Association. Are you serious? Did you know that? Ugh. All right, number two, number two. How many bases are there on a baseball field? Okay, now I've played baseball my whole life, so I know this one. Listen, there are nine people on a team and every player has two feet. And if they wear shoes on their feet, that gets that comes to 18. And if I take 18 and I add the three base hits that you get for every time you touch a base, that will be three times 18 is 54. So I'm going to go with 54. Four. Man, I should have subtracted 50 somewhere. I don't know. Ah. All right, last one. What do you use to play tug of war? One, or A, a rope, or B, uh, cooked noodles. Okay. Tug of war, cup of soup, three words each. I like, I like cooked noodles and I'm going to go with B cooked noodles. Rope. Oh man, I'm so terrible at this. Ah, uh, I'm so, I'm so messed up. I'm, there's this. Whoa. Hey, man. No. My life, yeah. my life, my life is over. It's ridiculous. I'm not going to be able to do what I want to do. Your life Just, is over, and you're extremely uh, calm about this. <laughs> listen, What's going on, man? Uh, man I've got to pass this sports history test tomorrow, right, right. and I am bombing all of these answers. Man, I am terrible at predicting these answers. <laughs> it can't be all that bad. I mean, they're probably just really, really tough, really hard. I I'm sure you'll get it. Uh, well, maybe. So why, why don't you look at them and see how hard they are? I'm not taking it to Huh? Well, no, I, I got you. Okay, on, this, I, got you, I, got you. I know you won't know. I'm just in here making me feel bad. So right. look, I know you. I know so you. let's do this. All, All right. right. Um, question number one. Right. NBA stands for National Basketball Association. How do, you, how do you know that? I mean, but basketballs are awesome, though. New basketballs. They are. That's, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, uh, two. <sighs> um, yeah, there's four bases in the baseball field. How how do you know four? I just don't know. Something about squares and diamonds. They kind of seem the same. Um, three. Yeah, it's a rope uh, for tug of war. So, yeah, you tripping, tripping. Sorry. It's bad. Man, I don't like this, man. Why don't you take the test? <laughs> I, just, I can't <sighs> do it. But look, this is just something that you'll have to overcome. It's it's not that bad. You'll be all right. Okay, well, overcome? What do you mean? Like like a challenge? Or what, what? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I mean to say. Okay. It's, it's a challenge, and we all understand challenges, right? Okay, I get it, I get it. But this seems like just a really super tough situation that... I don't know if I'm going to be able to overcome it or not. Yeah, that's but that's exactly what a challenge is. And remember, Ooh. Jesus, he even went through challenges, so you'll, you'll, you're, you're going to make it. But right. here's what you got to keep in mind. Right. right. Like, the same way Jesus needed, like, strength, and, and, and you can have that same strength, but it's got to be in your heart and your mind to hang in when it's difficult in order to overcome that challenge. Gotcha. Well, I mean, is there something that, that maybe could explain that to me better from the Bible? I don't, I don't know. It's just... Pastor Chad, actually. So, look, how about this? Right. Let's go to Pastor Chad, and he's going to really break down how Jesus went through challenges. 
Oh, Pastor Keith, I am so sorry that you had such a difficult time with those tests. And just like in Jerry said, yes, Jesus did have his own challenges and he understands our challenges. Even more so, he can predict, predict better than you did with your test what, what's going to happen in the future. Today, we're going to be looking at the book of Mark in chapter 9, 31 through 37. You see, today, Jesus is predicting that he's going to die on the cross for you and I, and he's going to tell his friends. And that's going to be extremely challenging. Listen, he had at least three challenges that he had to go through, not even counting the one that he had to give his life to us on the cross. You see, the first challenge is this. He had to tell his friends that he was, that he was going to die, right? That's pretty difficult. He knew they were going to be sad. It was going to break his own heart, but he knows that they needed to know that he was going to the cross for them. Secondly, his best friend, the leader at the time, Peter, almost fought him when he heard the news. He said, there's no way you're going to die. I'm going to be by your side the entire time. Jesus said this. Listen, he said, get behind me, Satan. He calls Peter Satan because he knew that Peter was more focused on what he wanted to do and not what God wanted him to do. And so that was difficult standing up for his best friend or standing against his best friend. Have you ever had to kind of do something like that with your best friend? That's pretty challenging. Now, the third thing was this. Listen, Jesus is about to tell everybody that they needed to give up their life and follow him. That's the hardest truth that we can ever imagine. Jesus was saying, listen, I'm the most important thing in your life. Not your mom, not your dad, not this world, not whatever you think is famous or awesome. Me. Follow me. Today, we know that people are following all kinds of things. Maybe you want to be the best video game player. Maybe you want to be the best dancer. You want to get paid. You want to be famous. You want to be rich. And Jesus is saying, it's not about that at all. It's about knowing me, loving me, and loving everybody else around you like I did. Guys, these are some pretty challenging things. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I fell at them. Actually, I fell at them a lot. And so this life sometimes feels like a test, Keith, like you were talking about, like you were going through. But the perfect thing is this, Jesus defeated life and death. He gave us new life. So he gave us the best life. So we don't have to be upset when we fail our test because Jesus understands our challenges and he gives us that new life so that we can start over and have a better life. So today, Pastor Keith, when you feel defeated, when you feel like it's the end of the world, at least it's not it yet, know that Jesus does know what you're going through and he knows what's going to happen to you in the future. But more importantly, he knows that you are his and he understands everything that you're going through. Even the next thing you're going to go through tomorrow. That's it, guys. I hope that helps. Jesus understands you. He knows where you're going and he's going to be there with you no matter what. Amen. All right. Good luck with everything, guys. Take care. Well, you see, Keith, this is exactly what we were saying. Like when it comes to challenges, Pastor Chad is even good at challenges. He's able to make something extremely hard from the Bible. He makes it easy to understand. Well, this whole sports test thing is just one more challenge that I'm going to have to overcome and I'm going to have to face it. But, you know, Jesus never had a trial for a basketball team or to be a basketball referee or even study for a test. <laughs> Look, it's good Jesus never had a trial for a team <laughs> because that'd be bad news for Luka, Dante, LeBron, and Michael Jordan. It'd be hard. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but but so, so maybe Jesus did have challenges. But he didn't have the same exact challenges that I've got. I mean, I need, I, need, I need to hear from somebody who knows exactly what I'm going through. Well, I see what you're saying, Keith. But just because Jesus never experienced the exact same challenges as us, I mean, that doesn't mean that he can't understand. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, I don't, I don't know. The Son of God never had to study for a test. I mean, he knows everything. <laughs> well, look, I mean, I, I hear that. But when you put it like that, I see. But think about it like this. Okay. Jesus came down to earth, right? He lived a perfect life. So I know what you're saying, like, oh, well, he's perfect, so he can't understand. But remember, he was also tempted. We talked about that last week, right? So he's able to really understand everything we've gone through. Disappointment, rejection, loneliness, right? And even being away and separated from the Father, all of these things he keeps in mind. So he does understand human experiences. He lived right through them. Okay, well, now I feel a little bit better about all my challenges. Yeah, so I mean, we can always understand. Wait, hold on. I think, I think you just said the big idea. What? Jesus understands our challenges. Oh, hey, hey! I didn't know I was doing that. <laughs> Come on, man. Man. That's right. So yeah, that's right, man. So listen. I got it, man. I got it all in control now. That's good. So if you think you got it, are got you sure? It. Completely. Are you I'm ready? ready? I'm ready. Okay, Keith. For any and all questions, because Jesus helps me with my challenges. That's right. That's so right. is this. <laughs> that's easy. That's a hammer. Man, who is this guy? How are you even on staff? <laughs>
Like, somebody get this dude, man. I guess we're done. Bye, guys. If you know me, I'm a planner. Uh, I love to take challenges when I can handle them. But you know, oftentimes challenges are thrown at me, probably like you, when you don't expect them to, and they don't ask for permission. And in so doing, I get caught up and I get worried and, and lots of different things happen that are just very stressful, right? But the one thing that stays constant through it all is that Jesus is with me. And that is this week's big idea. This week's big idea, Jesus understands my challenges. So this week as a family, discuss those things in your life that are challenging you. It could be work, school, friends. It could be a fear. Pray about it and support one another. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we love you and we thank you for sending your son on earth. He understands the challenges. He, he faced them while here. And so he understands us. And Jesus, thank you for being there through all of our challenges and the hard things that we have to go through. We love you and we praise you. In your name we pray, amen. Hey everybody, we have had a great time this week, this month. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.